Humans. Um, so, today, we're going to do my favorite false chord exercise. <laughs> oh, beginners. No. This exercise is really going to take you from your beginner stage all the way to the end of whatever it is that you're doing with your false chords. So no matter what stage your false chords get to, no matter what stage you're at, you should still be checking in with this exercise. So it's the turning your false chords on and off irrelevant from your vocal folds. Yay. Tongue out. If you're a beginner, always tongue out. You're gonna keep an E. We're doing everything on an E vowel because E is not a very high tongue and it's not a very low tongue. So it's your kind of your most neutral vowel in terms of your tongue position. That's why. Um, so, Eh, and then you're going to switch your false chords on and off. So it's going to sound like this. These are your vocal folds, these are your false chords. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. No. You don't, the, the, the goal isn't to do a hundred of these. Same way that the goal for now is never doing long, sustained, false chord growls or screams. I don't care if your favorite singer is holding his false chord for eight seconds or for 12 seconds. I don't care. Do not do that. Do it for like two, two or three seconds. That is all we care about. We're not trying to kill you. We're trying to build up a skill. Woo! So. Uh, you can speed it up or you can slow it down, it doesn't matter. Um, if you want, you can use your hands for your brain to make it more kinesthetic and knock your fingers whenever your false chords are knocking. So that would be your uh, That's if you're a kinesthetic learner. Woohoo! In an ideal universe, we don't want you increasing the volume to get the false chords going. So we don't want you going <laughs> The false chords will be louder than your normal because it's an added layer of knocking and vibration and noise. Um, but you don't need to give it something on the vocal folds. The vocal folds are irrelevant. Woohoo! Don't squeeze either. That's the goal. That is the goal of this exercise. So don't go. Eh. Your vocal folds need to be independent and isolated from your false chords. This is difficult to do. It's very difficult. Okay, so even if you think you're really good at it, <laughs> just work on it. If you are rocking this exercise and it's going really well, your level up to this exercise is a single one. So you start clean and you bring in your false chords, but you bring them in, in slow motion. So you go like, eh, and you make sure that you don't get any squeezing. You make sure you don't get, eh, eh, completely independent. So for the massive nerds out there who are really interested in voice, um, the muscle fibers on your vocal folds, some of those fibers continue up into your false chords. So what you're doing is you are trying to make this area of the muscle fiber on your vocal folds and this area of the same muscle 
independent. That's why it's difficult. Okay? Okay. Yay. Hiya! <laughs> so, good luck! <laughs> if you have any questions, write them in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as possible. <gasps> I give lessons. I will have all the links <laughs> around me.